Hello and welcome. This is a CSC 249 video. I'm going to cover two languages today uh, and show you how to set up M4T1 and M4T2. Now let's look at what's being asked here. Okay, So we, they want you to use multiple files and that's something that we may not have explained um, in a previous classes. It may not have come up. It may have. So I'm going to look at how to do it in REPLit and then later we'll look how to do it in other programs. So first of all, okay, I've got two REPLs open here. So I've got a REPL for C++, and then I have my Zybooks code, and then I have my REPL for Python. All right, so, so language on the left side, C++ language on the right side, Python. Now, the first thing I've done is I've gone in, I've copied the entire file. So just clicked in here, Control-A, Control-C. On a Mac, it'd be Command, but you know the idea. Uh, select everything and copy it all copy it into the file. Now the next thing you need to do is add a comment. So we're going to put our name. So you know your name, today's date. Now in C++ we use these blocks. You could also use slash slash on each line. That would be okay too. And just to make it a little easier to follow, I've commented out a bunch of this extra code because I'm just going to get the first part working. Uh, and then I'll turn that other code on once the rest is set up. Now over here, again, I control A, control C, or command A, command C in main. Now in REPL, by default, you only have a main.py or a main.cpp. I pasted this in. Again, you could use a pound sign for a line comment, or you can do this and say block comment, right, for Python. That's just a different option you can do. The equivalent in C++, of course, is a line comment and a block comment. As I've said before, even if you're not working in both languages, you, you want to get used to reading both languages. Because uh, you can kind of see that, well, this is making a bunch of nodes. And so is this. All right. So, so far, so good. Now we have our first file. But what we've got to do is get our other files in. Now, the way you do this is you're going to switch to the second file. I'll do C++ first, and then I'll do the next one. This file is called singly linked list. You'll see this if in def defined. This is a piece of code that exists, so you don't accidentally include the file twice because that would cause some problems. Uh, that's not an issue in Python. Python keeps track of that for you. So I'm going to control A, control C. And now I need to make a new file. So in Zybooks, you just do new file, and I call it singly linked list.h. Now it's got to be this exact name to match this here. Okay, now I'm going to click this file to open it up, and I'll paste that in. And I'll add a little comment here just to say that this is um, all right, clean this up a little bit. Implementation of a singly linked list used by main.cp. Okay. Now when I go back here, what I'm going to find when this loads, I'll load the wrong file. Here we go, cpp. So now the include is correct. So if I run this, it's not going to do anything, but it's going to find the code, and it's going to make these nodes. So no errors, which means that it properly included it. Before I added this include and this file here, these were all read. Now let's look at the Python version. In the Python version, we have two files because they decided to make node and linked list into separate files. Uh, this is just a convenience factor. You can do it either way. The only language where this really is a all or nothing is in Java. You have Every file has to have the exact same name as the class it defines. So you couldn't define two classes in one file in Java. But in Python or C++, you could define multiple. So I have this node here. I'll select this, and I'll make a new file. Don't worry about these lock files. Those are packager files, like you said. They're not py files. So to node.py, again, it should be the exact spelling. And I'm going to paste this file into here. OK. Great. And again, I'll put a little comment just to make sure I know what's going on. Their class used by various. Now this will be used for the Python version. Singly and doubly linked list are going to both use this. Okay. Included in main.py. Just kind of explaining that. Uh, and now I'm going to go here and I'm going to take my linked list and copy that code too. Again, the file must be called linked list.py. So uh, when you include a file, it's called a module. So the module here is node. And here I can see the way I include it is to say from node import node. Um, so node.py is the Python file that defines the node module. Now here this is linked list.py. 
Now, if you're doing this in your own directory for uh, you know, Anaconda or Code Blocks, it's different ways to do it. Um, in Code Blocks, you'll need to say, I want to add a new file so that it can properly find it in the build. In Python, you can just add the file in the same folder and it's going to show up. Now, there's a lot of code in here, so you know when we first do this assignment, we want to just focus on creating a linked list out of nodes, adding nodes to the beginning, adding nodes to the end. And, and then we'll get used to the other stuff later, but that's a good start. Uh, singly linked list. Use by .py for .t. Great, good, here we go. So now I'm going to go to this code, and again, when I run this, it should run with no errors. Now once I've confirmed this works, I'm going to actually uncomment the code to make sure that it's working properly. Okay, so we're, we're, we're happy here. Um, so let's now turn this off. So some, what you can just do is just do this. You can comment out the comment line, and that way you remember where your comments were if you want to turn things off. So we're going to make this node by creating a list which is empty, adding some nodes that contain numbers. And the interesting thing about, uh, you know, in Python, this doesn't have to be a number. It could be any object. Uh, in the C++ implementation, specifically, we're focusing on ints, but it could be something else. So we're going to add some nodes in different locations, and it should print this list. So let's see if it works. And again, this is, look, fantastic. Here we go. So what's the interesting thing here? Well, you know, for M4T1, you just implement this the way I showed you, make sure it works, and turn it in. Uh, and now how would you do that? Well, you may want to download each of these files, put them in a folder. You may want to give me a zip. If you give me a zip, if you download the entire thing as a zip, it's a very large file. It's like 40 megs for these three files. So you would be doing me a real favor if you would just download these files individually and turn them in. Um, that would be a real help. Um, I can work with either one, but it's going to save me several minutes per grade, uh, and that would be wonderful. If you would just download the file separately by doing this, download, you know, put them in a folder, zip the folder, or just turn in the files directly. Now let's look at the C++ version. For the C++ version, again, the Zybooks, sorry, the, um, the REPL download is pretty big. If you do it in code blocks, it's not very big. It's like 2 megs instead of 40 megs. Uh, I won't get into why other than that. What REPL's doing is simulating a Linux environment, and it sort of brings with it in the zip you download all the files you need. So really, you can just download these files. You know, that would be fine. Take a screenshot of it working, and we'll be set. Um, but now for M4T2, I say first implement this code and then add a few things. So in, in the code, I, in M4T2, I say you're going to implement this as shown. Now create a list of strings, which are household objects like, you know, shoe, stapler, fork, whatever you want to use. But a list of strings. So you'll need to modify the node class to contain a string in C++. In Python, you can just use the node class as is because an object is an object. But in C++, the type matters. And then it says add a few items at the beginning of the list, add a few items at the end of the list, and print the list. So you'll be using this template here to create your own code. You're still using the same list, but you're creating more code in your main to do something. But that's M4T2. For M4T1, we're just making sure this works. That'll be a good start. Again, I have a Thursday evening lab. So if you have questions, please jump into Collaborate or email me. These both work. So again, to submit this assignment, you're just going to download these files and submit it for M4T1, and then you'll do the same thing with section, if I'm correct here, um, M4T2 is doubly linked lists, right? So there's, there's, a, there's a fair bit of code in here, and you're going to use this, but you're also going to make more changes. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much.